Sea Shepherd is currently here in Nicaragua for Operation Hyro 5, which puts focus on protecting hawksbill sea turtles and Padre Ramos. Padre Ramos is the largest nesting ground for hawksbill sea turtles in the East Pacific. Our teams have been patrolling night after night, but unfortunately we're seeing almost no activity. My name is Ramon Diaz. I'm a local guy. I'm from Nicaragua. I live in the village. My name is Los Soros. I work for Sea Turtle Rescue Nicaragua. I have been working for Sea Turtle Rescue Nicaragua for about three years. And my job here is to protect turtles. The number of mothers Oxbills is very low now here because long time ago we had like 300 mothers coming to lay eggs in the whole season of Oxville and now we just get like 50 mothers. Long time ago we, we were getting like seven mothers coming to lay eggs in one night and now we just are getting two mothers like in one week, three mothers, mothers like in two weeks, something like that. There's so many things that are ones are affecting the tourists so bad now. Number one is people poaching eggs. People here have been poaching eggs for many years, selling into markets for eat in restaurants. Number two is dynamite fishing. People fishing with bombs in the ocean, with long lines killing many tourists. Annoying thing people using fishing net thrown by the coral reef where it's the natural habitat for turtles where they live where they keep the coral reef alive and once they do that turtles just try to go out to the coral reef and they got stuck in the net the fishing net and they die. Hawksbill is one of the species of turtles one lay eggs just under trees or bushes area. And the big issue is that erosion level, raised level of the tide, destroying all the nesting areas where they lay eggs. Another like issue that turtles have around here is the pollution in the ocean by people throwing garbage in the ocean around the beach area and that what turtles eat is jellyfish and some of the garbage once they get in the water they kind of look like the jellyfish and they eat that and they die. This year we're patrolling with local guides who are ex-poachers turned conservationists and they give us insight on how to find hospital sea turtles while on patrol. Cada año se han visto menos tortugas que vienen arribando aquí. Eh, pero esto se debe siempre a la, a la casa de tortuga, como siempre. Ilegal. ¿Qué se podría hacer? Siempre, como digo, ¿no? Alguien que te ayude a protegerla. Alguien que, que también te dependiera del gobierno, como siempre. Y no sé, alguna organización así como Shipper. Sí, Shipper está haciendo un impacto bueno. Eh, en, en las tortugas, en, en nuestra población y nos beneficia a todos también. Lo que, lo que más me gusta eh, de patrullar con Sea Chipper es que todos somos bien organizados y, y que andamos todos unidos. How we can change people's minds when it's talking about todos. It will be hard to change. But the only thing we can do is teach more kids, teach our new generation. And once we teach the kids, one day they will understand why tourists are important, what we can, how we can help. And the new generation will be better than now. We have hit a point of no return. 
We need to come together as humans to help save these endangered species. Because if the turtles continue to die, the oceans will continue to die, and then we will die with it.